Hey guys, it's Allie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. I upload every Tuesday and Saturday. And today I'm going to come at you with a baby food video. It's my first time making a whole lot of baby food. I have made a batch before, but it was just sweet potatoes and then just carrots. And that went well. So today I'm trying to mix things and I'll show you what all I'm going to do. But um, we're going to try to make enough baby food for two months and it'll be frozen in little ice cube trays and that's about the extent of how long you want to freeze it so that's what I'm going to do today alright guys this is what all I'm going to attempt to make today for fruit I'm going to do apple and pear mixed apple and banana banana and mango and apple and mango and then for vegetables I'm going to do peas and carrots carrots and zucchini just green beans because he loves green beans and just carrots because he loves carrots and then green beans and corn and sweet potato and carrots and I have all my stuff here. Some of it's frozen, some of it's fresh. I got frozen green beans, corn, peas, and mango. And then I have bananas, apples, pears, zucchini, carrots, and sweet potato. So that's all what we're gonna be using today. So I'm gonna be using a blender to blend everything up and then I'm gonna start with this. This I just used to peel my apples with. It has a peeler and then there's another attachment to, um, cut it up just makes it easier on the apple part but that I'll use for the apples and then I'll just go from there I'm gonna start with fruit and then do vegetables and if you're wondering where Benjamin Floyd is he is in here <laughs> he wasn't his boppy did you fall out did you fall out of your boppy and he's watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse So the first thing I'm going to blend are my pears and my apples. My apples are browning a little bit, but that's okay. And I think I'm going to, I have three pears, so I'm going to use all of these because the pears and apples are the only thing I'm using the pears for. So I'm going to use three pears and then three apples, pretty much. So I'm going to do that first. This is the apple pear. It's about the consistency of applesauce. And I have to do the pulse button first or else my uh, fruit won't move around. And I didn't have enough water at first, so you have to add water to get it to move too. And then I puree it for a while. And then it gets, as long as I get all the chunks out, good to go. And I only have two ice trays. I meant to buy more today, but I forgot. 
what I'm gonna do is fill one ice tray with a fruit mix and one ice tray with a vegetable mix when it gets done. And that way we'll have fruits and vegetables for tomorrow. And then I will refrigerate the rest that I make and then freeze them as the ice trays become available. do the apple and banana this was about half of what was left in this bowl so this will be my last for the apple mango but this is what I have for the apple and then I think I'll probably add about four bananas I'm just eyeballing everything and of course I can taste it to make sure that it tastes decent but I'm gonna start with this add water and puree it and then add the bananas and puree it guys this is the apple and banana I didn't have to add any water when I added the banana because when I pureed the apple the water I had and the water that was in the apple was enough to keep it it's actually pretty runny I'll show you but that's okay Benny likes his food runnier so that's the consistency and this one I will just have to put in a container and put in the fridge since I already used that ice tray This one is the apple and mango and I did about it's probably about three apples and then this is probably cup and a half to two cups of mango I got frozen mango instead of fresh mango just because it was easier and I'm gonna add some water and blend this up and see how we do While I was trying to puree the mango and apple, my blender started smoking and it smelled really bad and so I think it's done. So I luckily have this little tiny smoothie maker, which hopefully will get us through the rest of our making it will just make it harder. So that's not fun. Okay, so this is the mango apple. It did work in my little smoothie maker and this is the consistency, so that's pretty good. So we're gonna make it through this. Okay, for the banana and mango, I put half a banana in here and a handful of mango. It won't be very much because I just bought a small thing of mango because it's not his favorite, but he does like it. His favorite is banana and apples, so I made more of that. And he does like the pears too, but so that's what we're gonna do. I have enough room in here to add the rest of the banana and the rest of the mango, so it'll just be this size basically for the mango and banana.
just a heads up, I my mango had thawed out and so I barely added any water and it's still pretty watery. So I wouldn't add much if you do this combo. potato and I'm cooking the peas in the microwave so the first thing I'm going to do are the carrots and sweet potatoes since they're both already done okay so I have half this half full with carrots and half full with sweet potato and you do have to add quite a bit of water to these I know from experience so I'm fill this up about that much and we'll see what it does is the sweet potato and carrots. It's about two whole sweet potatoes and maybe four carrots, three or four carrots. So it's more sweet potato, a little bit of carrots, but carrots taste stronger. So that'll work out. And that's the consistency. I'm going to put this in the other ice tray and then refrigerate the rest of it. do Benny's peas and carrots. I have a lot more carrots, but I don't have room in here. So I'm going to do this. And I just ended up doing half a bag of peas, which came to about here, because Ben is not a huge fan of peas, but maybe he will like them better in the carrots. So I wanted it more carroty than um, the peas taste. Ben loves green beans, so I just steamed these in the microwave and I'm going to make him just green beans because he does like those quite a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to do green beans and corn. Ben has never had corn before, so I don't know how he'll like it, but I'm hoping that putting it with green beans will make him like it. This just came out of the microwave, I just steamed them. And I'm going to blend them up and it looks like it should make quite a bit, so that's good. And my mother-in-law saved the day by letting me use her blender, because that thing takes forever. So, here we go.
guys, I decided to stop where I was. The only thing I didn't make was the carrots and zucchini and just the plain carrots. Just because when I saw how much I had, I thought that I had plenty to last for a while. So this is all of the food. I got peas and carrots. And I ended up putting the apple and mango and, ap and banana and mango in the same one. So that's both of those. And then I have apple and banana. These are just the green beans. I didn't make very much. The green beans and corn was quite a bit. The apple and pear made quite a bit. And the sweet potato and carrots made quite a bit. So I have all of this. This should probably last me two to three months. So I'm pretty happy with that. But thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know some more recipes you'd like me to try. Some more ideas I can try. Um, he's starting to eat more and more. So we'll see how long this lasts. I'm betting two to three months, but... If he keeps eating the way he's eating, it might only be two months tops. So we'll see how it goes. But um, thanks for watching. I upload twice a week, so stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you later.